Welcome back. In an age of eating out and ordering delivery, we all do it. Do you know how much to tip? Well, 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is live in Spartanburg to tell us more about that and more about to-go etiquette in general. Yes, certainly something we probably just haven't thought about, right? We're used yeah. to kind of going to the restaurant, sitting down, having the whole experience. For me, I always like to be outside. We have Chris Primer here. We are at Delaney's Irish Pub in Spartanburg. I get distracted because I look down at the food. Yeah, and then I look back really at you. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what you're getting for to go. And many people say, well, no one's serving me. I don't need to tip. Why is that maybe not the case? Well, while they're technically right that no one's serving them like they are in a restaurant, we put all the same care uh, into packaging our to-go food um, as you would get it as you were being served in the restaurant. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're talking temperature. We're talking there's ventilation can, even in these, right? You can get anything cooked exactly how you want it as you were dining in. Um, our to-go packaging is vented, that way you're not getting a lot of moisture trapped in there. Wow. So your food arrives to you, whether to go or by delivery, um, the, way that, the way that it was intended. Wow, so, let's yeah. talk amount, because that sounds like a lot of effort. How much yeah. should we do? I think one of the things that a lot of people don't realize when they uh, order takeout or delivery is that there's an associated cost with to-go packaging, huh. bags, takeaway silverware. Um, all that stuff that goes into it for a single use, whereas dining in a restaurant, you know, we wash our plates, silverware, so you get to reuse that stuff. This stuff doesn't get to be able to be reused, so, um, you know, we, the business takes on that cost, mm. and so that we don't have to pass it along to customers. Okay. Um, I think that's where the tipping comes in also. I would say for sure. And talking about who handles what, you know, the cooks, they yep. see that it's a to-go order. So yeah, maybe absolutely. this needs to be hot. This needs to be yep. handled with care and packed with care. But then a whole other person has to... Yeah, so our back of the house staff knows when we get a to-go order and they try to expedite it in a way that makes sure that it doesn't sit back there for a long time and it gets out the door into the customer's hands. Uh, and that happens because Another employee is checking it. So there are multiple sets of eyeballs on every order that leaves our kitchen. I had no clue all yeah. of that went into a to-go order. Very good. You guys have a special relationship with delivery services as well. We have just a few seconds left, but I want to let them know that the local services, you guys are working with them. Yeah, we have an exclusive partnership with Hub City Delivery. They're a Spartanburg-based business. Oh. Uh, Sarah and Joel Petty are the owners, uh, and we love them. They're great friends of ours, but a great business relationship as well. Okay, that helps. If you forget something or the food's not perfect, yeah. they talk to you. There's about a direct it. line to them. Um, so if there's ever an issue, we're able to take care of it quickly and efficiently. Chris, you have educated me so much this morning. We appreciate it. Same to Sarah and Kevin as well. Taylor, I know you're kind of new to the area. If you have not been, Delaney's is yummy, but check this out. To go looks pretty good, right? Um, it looks delicious. I was just saying, are those nachos in the back? Because um, I oh, definitely yeah. need to come get some of that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much, Christine. Fred. Yeah.